you guys like uh, orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, it's like, you know, because a lot of people thought the, the last season of Westworld was going to be, or the last episode of Westworld was going to be longer, but it was 58. So. Yeah, which speaking of that, be and, before we yeah. wrap up, do you want to give your thoughts on it? Because I did a video on it already, but sure, we, we haven't sure. heard from old Hesseroni yet. What did you, you think of the finale of Westworld? Uh, I mean, I thought it was fine. I didn't think it was anything special. Um yeah, I texted you, you know, basically mm -hmm. everyone's dead except Dolores. Yeah. For for me, honestly, for, it, for it, now, it made me not really care about Westworld anymore. The ending. Oh, really? Yeah, it completely because it's like it's over and they're just rebooting. Right. So well, that's what I mean. It's I just like, like it, 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 they're it, going they're going to go back to their original park and all yeah. that. And I'm like, so we're just going to see season one again. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, the, the only plus I said about that is we maybe we'll get a lot of Jimmy Simpson. Will be the only that plus would be cool. that we'll get some that cool scenes cool. with that, and maybe even we'll get Logan back and then Ford and stuff like that. That'll be the only plus. If Anthony Hopkins is still alive, yeah, true. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, uh, he, I think he's like eighty-seven or something like that. Uh, and I know they're supposed to start filming it quick. I think they just want to like, get it going. That's even if they get renewed. But according to uh, um, Ed Harris, they're going to film it quickly the next season. Uh, but but to me, I just like, but what's the point? Like, it just seems like you guys wrapped up and are out of ideas. It does, and it's disappointing. Um, obviously, that can... I mean, not that Westworld was ever on Game of Thrones level as a magnitude of a show. Yeah, maybe at the end of first season, it was close, <laughs> but not even then, I don't think. Yeah, me, me personally, I don't think so, but... Um, I just mean, I like, mean, I know like, that like it, viewer wise It was probably close. Yeah, or well, yeah, view, viewer-wise, okay. But I'm talking, like, you know, like, the first, whatever, six... What was there, eight seasons of Game of Thrones? Yeah. Seven or eight. Anyways, the last season ruined it for a lot of people. Yeah. Like, it was just like, really? Like, this is fucking stupid. Like, we watched this shit for <laughs> 10 years or whatever. Yeah. You know? So, but everyone has their own opinion. Um, I understand that it has to be hard to end a show that's yeah. been going for seven, eight years or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, there's no perfect ending, I don't think. Mm -hmm. You're not going to make everyone happy. It's impossible. So yeah, no, I, I get that a hundred percent. Yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting when the next season comes out. I hope that they give it like an announcement and they're like one more season and then it's over kind of thing. Cause one then, more season, we already have it filmed. It'll be starting tomorrow. <laughs> I saw someone had a theory that <laughs> all they're gonna do is they're just gonna re-edit and put deleted scenes of season one in there and just go here you go here's season five. <laughs> um, it would make sense. That 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 made me chuckle a little bit on Reddit. Could you could you imagine if? If that's what they did, if they just like re like season five was season one and it just, you know, <laughs> then season six is was season two, season seven that, was season three. That's what I'm, I'm a little afraid of what they're going to eventually come around to is the first season we watched was just a simulation and, and like they're going to keep it's going with that. And I really loop. I don't want that to be the ending of the show is it's just an yeah. infinite and infinite loop of things. That'll just be annoying. Um but yeah, I don't know. I, I, at the end of it, I, it literally ended, and I was like, oh, this is how Nick and Hess feel at the end of every season, probably. Yeah, pretty much. And I was like, wow. And I was like, this is the first time I've ever felt that way. That's I, God, it's so annoying yeah. to like a show, and then it just shits in your mouth. Yeah, it, do, it did. It, 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 remind, did. it reminded me of The Night Of Season 3. Did, oh, not The Night Of. Um, True Detective Season 3. Did you watch that one? No, I haven't watched any of the True Detectives. Uh, that they, if that one, it felt a lot like they were gonna like tee up like it's a connection to season one, and Woody Harrelson might be in it, and all this stuff back in it, and then it was literally just a picture and something else, and like the whole ending was stupid, and it pissed me and Nick I, off. I remember, it was annoying. I remember. And it ruined, I remember hearing you <laughs> it ruined the whole show it. for us. Yeah. So that, that's what yeah. Westwood kind of reminded me. Of. The last episode was just like like there was a lot of cool parts I liked about it, but for the most part, I was like, oh, this was pretty lame. Like every everything's mm -hmm. just every human in, in the show is legit dead, even like Stubbs had a horrible death. Yeah, well, and that I'm, I'm like I'm like sitting there and like why did Clementine like she was hardly in it and then yeah. she shows up. She just shows up as like, like a badass, which was kind of yeah, neat. I'm but like, I was like, where did this come this? from? I'm like, why is she even here? Yeah, it was, it was weird. I don't know. I hope they put more thought in the next episode because honestly, even like I said, like Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, it felt like they were barely even like part of this season. Like, they talked at the end of every, like, bonus thing at the end, but I think they each wrote one episode this season, and that was it. Well, I mean, 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it was better than last season. Yeah, no, that, that, that's okay. The season, it was better than season three, 100%. But I just felt like the last episode was one of the worst episodes they've had. And that's that's the most disappointing part is the, you know, where it's just like, hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, they're like, almost there. They almost redeemed the show for me. Like, to, I feel like for a lot of people, too. Where, well, where, where it's like, it's you, you watch it and you go, did they even know what they wanted to do? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, because like you Cause go back and you watch like season one or season two, and there's like legit clips of the ending in like the first and second episodes with things and stuff like that. And this is just, it all comes out of nowhere. It's it's pretty brutal. Yeah. It's pretty brutal. Um, it's very disappointing. We're done with that now. We're back, we're back in Game of Thrones, baby. I'm excited. House of Dragon. 